Praise the Lord and welcome back to the channel. My name is Jessica. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Glad you are here joining us for Jesus and Coffee. If you are a re returning subscriber, welcome back. I am also glad that you are joining us today. So today, you guys, is Jesus and Coffee. I'm excited about this one. We are going to be talking about you already know because you've seen the title of this you are enough first of all I want you guys to grab your favorite favorite drink I cannot talk today <laughs> favorite drink whether it be coffee water tea soda whatever you want I got my it's water <laughs> you guys when I wake up in the morning I have to have my coffee so by the time I'm filming, I don't drink any more coffee, so water, it is. <laughs> so, yeah, get your favorite drink, and if you're in your comfies, like me, I'm in my loungewear, and I have my blanket right here in case I get cold. It is a beautiful, gloomy, sunny day because... The sun's coming out, it's raining, and it's gloomy, so you know how that goes. But anyway, we are going to talk about you are enough. So, first of all, I want to let you guys know that the scriptures that I will be using, plus more if I don't get to all of them, will be linked in the description box. So make sure you guys check those out. Highlight them, read them, do whatever you want with them, meditate on them anything that you want um, to do with them. Everything that I say is from my experience, um, from what I believe. Um, and so, yeah, I'm not saying the whole world has to believe what I believe, but, you know, this is just what I, my thoughts and, and what I believe and what the Lord shows me. So, um, if you guys can turn to 1 John 3, 1, um, it reads... See what great love your father has lavished on us, that we should be called children of God, and that is what we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know him. Okay, so right from the get, we are children of God, okay? And what does that mean? It means that he loved us enough to create us and we are his children so a little a little backstory on me feeling like I wasn't enough coming back to Christ because I I did backslide and um for years and as I came back to Christ I felt like I wasn't enough like I felt like I I I could, what's the good, what's the word for it? Like I didn't deserve to, to do things in the kingdom. I didn't deserve to, um, basically be where I'm at today. You know, I, I didn't deserve to, to work in, in the house of the Lord, you know, and that I know now was the enemy telling me that I'm not good enough. Like, look at what you did. Like, like, look at you left God. How how do you think you can come in the house of the Lord and think you could be in a ministry? You know, you're not good enough. And I believed it. You know, I, I believed it. I I felt a certain way. And me feeling like that, like I, I never felt like that before where I wasn't good enough for God, you know. And so I struggled with it and it came to a point where I had to read my word and I had to to repent and I, I had to forgive myself and move forward with with my life you know because God wants to take me above and beyond just like he wants to take you above and beyond you know but if you have that mentality like like you're not enough for the things of God that is so wrong. <laughs> I mean, it is totally wrong. Like, God wants you. He 
wants you for his kingdom. He needs you for his kingdom. You know, he, he needs you to reach out to people, you know, and, and work in, in, in your church and, and outside of your church and in your, your workplaces and in your home. I mean, he needs you to, to be that for him. So as I, you know, learned and, you know, grew in Christ, um, I was still kind of, you know, battling with it. But then I was like, you know what, I'm just going to do it. Like, I'm going to step out and, on faith, you know, and not feel that way anymore because I know that God loves me. And so one of the ministers, he had asked if I wanted to sing, you know, if I wanted to join the praise team. And I was like, at first, before, you know, I, I learned and read and all that stuff, I said no, you know, because I felt like I, I wasn't enough. And the, the sad part was that when I would go to church, there was a yearning, like, man, I want to be up there. Like, like I want to sing again because when I was a teenager, I was in the choir. And so I wanted to sing again, you know, and so I was like, no, you know, like I, I wanted to, but then, you know, there goes the enemy. Like, no, you can't like, you're not enough for, for this praise team. So I, I would just go to church and, you know, I would, you know, worship and everything, but it, it was like, I want to sing, you know, in the praise team. Like I want to sing my praises to God, you know, not that you can't do it, you know, from your pew, but. It, it, that was, that's my calling, you know, that, that, that's my ministry, you know? So after that, um, see the church that I used to go to, they had a, a morning service and they had an evening service. So the evening services where I was being called. And so after, you know, he asked again and I was like, uh, I told him, you know, like, yeah, you know, I'll, I want to sing. And so after that, I, I sang, you know, every Sunday, so then after that, um, the, the morning service, um, the leader of that service asked if I wanted to join and I was like, yeah, you know, I want to join, you know? So I was singing at both, you know, but I wouldn't know that I was enough if I didn't read it in his word, if I didn't pray about it and if he never told me because when God speaks to you, he can speak to you in so many different ways. And when he spoke to me, you know, he, he just told me like, you know, like I've forgiven you, like you need to forgive yourself. And that was, that was something that I had to do, you know, is to forgive myself for leaving Christ, you know, and, and I did, you know, he is a God of, a, they say he's a God of a second chance. He's a God of a chance after chance after chance, you know, because we sin daily, you know, and he forgives us, you know, we, we repent and he forgives us, you know, and that's just who God is. And so it's, it's just knowing that you're enough, knowing what he calls you. And that's why I read, you know, that chapter and that verse, because he said, it says you are, you are children of God. So let's go to, um, first Corinthians six, 19 and 20. And all right, I didn't mark these down. <laughs> Just shut up. Okay. So, uh, first Corinthians six, 19 through 20. It was funny. I got, I got it highlighted. Do you not know that your bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit? whom you have received from God. You are not your own. You were bought at a price. Therefore, honor God with your bodies. So you are enough to have the spirit of God in you. That's how important you are, okay? You are enough to house the Holy Spirit. That is how important you are. I know there's a lot of people who who think that they are they are not enough for a lot of things and it is just it's not just for God but it's it's for a lot of things you know like I mentioned if you've been following me in my motivational Mondays um 
I'm in this group where there's a bunch of young girls and um, they they have a lot of problems and, it, and it's crazy. Like I tell my husband, like, man, it's so crazy how, you know, these young people, like they go through a lot and they, they don't think they're enough, you know, even with their parents, you know, and it's like, gosh, like you are enough. Like, like God loves you. You know, you are enough. Like, like don't listen to the enemy, you know? And, and so, you know, I, I message, I, I comment on their posts and stuff like that. And I minister to them like, like, you know, this is what the Bible says. Like, you are enough. Like, you are the apple of his eye. Like, like God loves you. And, and you know, pray for yourself. Pray for your parents. Pray for your situation. Because if you're not going to pray for it, it's just going to fall apart. You know, we have to pray daily, you know. And we have to pray for everything, you know, and everybody. You know, and if you're young, which I don't know if the young people watch me, but... If you are young, pray for your parents, pray for your families, you know, and God will fix the situation. Um, another a story that um, I want to, uh, it's a yeah story that I want to uh, tell you guys. Um, first, let's turn to Romans, Romans, where are you? Right here. Romans 3, 23 through, um, through... 25 Romans 3 I just passed it okay Romans 3 okay I have, I have it highlighted too <laughs> okay but now apart from the law the righteous of God have been made known to which the law and the prophets testify the right this righteousness is given through faith in Jesus Christ to all who believe there is no difference between Jew and Gentile, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God, and all are justified freely by His grace. The, through the redemption that came by Christ Jesus, God presented Christ as a sacrifice of atonement through the shedding of His blood to be received by faith. He did this to demonstrate His righteousness because in his forbearance, he had left the sins committed before unpunished. He did it to demonstrate his righteousness at at the present time. So as to be just and the one who justifies those who have faith in Jesus. I read through to 26. Okay. So look how enough you are. I just read what God did for you that shows that you are more than enough okay um as uh, me you know i i felt um i had felt um a certain way you know coming back to christ so fast forward <laughs> um having my husband become a minister when 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 it was being talked about and he was getting ready to be ordained you know he was um I felt a certain way I felt I wasn't good enough again <laughs> I felt like how how in the heck am I gonna be a minister's wife like I'm me like I'm crazy <laughs> Like, I'm different from these other ministers' wives. Like, I'm not like them. I don't look like them. I don't act like them. Like, like God, if you're calling my husband, you know I'm coming with him, right? <laughs> it's just like, okay, like, I, I knew he was on that path. I knew he was on that path. But when we got to that place... I was just like, how, how am I going to be a minister's wife? Like, I'm not good enough for that. You know, like I'm different, you know, you see the other minister's wives and, you know, I, I'm not talking bad about any of them because they're great women of God, but they're, they dress, you know, not that I say that I don't dress right or anything, but you know, they're, they're more, um, I guess modest, I guess you can say modest. Um, and they're very like, <laughs> I don't know what I, 
I don't know how to say it, like proper, I guess, you know, and then you have me. <laughs> so I, it was just like, and I would talk to Anthony about like, I'm not like them. Like, oh, like, I'm not like them. Like, how could I be a minister's wife? Like, how could I be in that, in that, you know, little group, you know, of a minister's wife? Because not only in our church, but like minister's wife's like all around, you know? And so I'm like, you know what, Demo, you got to get out of here because you're making me think that I'm not good enough. And I am good enough. If this is what, where God is calling my husband, then he's calling me too, you know? So obviously he wants me there, <laughs> but it's like those little things that, that the enemy will try to plant in your head. And if I was any other person, I would probably have told my husband, like, no, I can't do this. Like, you're if I can't do this, you're not going to do this, you know? And, I mean, I don't know if Anthony would listen to me, but I'd probably be like, girl, well, too bad you're coming with me. <laughs> but it's like, you know, the enemy, he is so, ugh. <laughs> like, he needs to, to leave, you know? And it's those moments where you don't let th that seed that he's trying to plant grow like you gotta pluck that seed out and be like no like god is calling me too like he wants this crazy <laughs> he wants all this craziness <laughs> you know so it's like i am enough i am enough god loves me god is gonna take me and you higher than what we can even imagine you know this is what we are called to do this is what how why we're called you know and if i would have Back then, you know, when, when I would have, when I came back to Christ, if I would have kept that mindset that I am not enough, I would be back there or I wouldn't even be here in church serving the Lord or here talking to you because I, it would have just festered and, and grew and, and grew. And, and if you don't pluck those seeds out, they're going to grow and grow. And then you're just stuck, you know? So, so now, you know, fast forward, like I, I'm like, I'm, I'm glad I said yes, you know, because even my pastor, you know, before he's like, you know, are, are you know, I, I'm calling Anthony to the ministry, you know, are you for him? Will you support him? Yes, I'll support him 100%. You know, whatever, whatever he's going to do in life, you know, I'm supporting him, you know, and he's like, are you ready? I'm like, yes, I'm ready. Like, bring it on, <laughs> you know, so it's just things like that, you know, and God, God tells you in his word that you are enough. God will tell you every day if you just can open up to him and pray that you are enough. You are enough. Whatever you're going through, you are enough. Don't let the enemy lie to you. Don't let him tell you, no, you can't. No, you can't. No, you're not. No, you are not enough because you are enough. You are loved. If you think nobody loves you, that is a lie because I know a God and his name is Jesus and he loves you. And in his word, he will tell you over and over and over that he loves you. And I will tell you over and over and over that he loves you. You are enough. You can do it. Take that step of faith where God is calling you. If God is calling you somewhere, because let me tell you, God has called me places and I'm just like, whoa, <laughs> like, are you kidding me right now? But when I said yes, it was for his purpose, okay? And it was a purpose that he needed me for. And it was for his honor and for his glory. When I was at the other church, you know, I had I had this attitude. And I'm like, God, like, I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to do this. Don't even put me in the Sunday school. I ain't trying to do nothing. And where do you think he, he called me? <laughs> in the Sunday school. And I'm like, what? Are you kidding me? You know, but I am so glad I said yes. And then that's not even that, okay? When we moved to our church now, I was like, okay, God, I'm not going to be having anything to do with Sunday school, any, anything to do with the youth. Where am I now? I'm a youth leader. <laughs> God is... God and he is going to do what he wants and he is going to put you where he wants you and you just need to pray about it and say yes to God if that's where he's calling you 
And when he calls you, believe me, he will prepare you, he will provide for you, and he will make a way out of no way, okay? So, now, we're closing. <laughs> There's some more scriptures that I have here, but I'm going to link those. Um, I tried to keep these videos short, which they've been like almost half an hour. Um, we're at 20 minutes right now. But um, yeah, so I just pray that you guys understand what I'm trying to say and which is you are enough. Don't let the enemy try to put things in your head that, that you're not. Get that confidence that you need and and let the enemy know like no like you need to shut your trap and keep it going because i serve a good god i serve a mighty god i serve a god that is going to be by me every step of the way and i am going to serve him and i am going to serve him with joy in my heart and i am going to go where he wants me to go and i am enough because God says, I am enough. That's what you guys should be saying. I am enough. Say it with me. I am enough. God says, I am enough and I am loved. If no one loves me, God loves me. And remember that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. And we will see you guys here next time for Jesus and Coffee. Have a blessed week. And remember, Jesus loves you. God bless.